welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I've already had a busy painting day. However, I've been getting some requests for spring colors. I believe Gwen asked for spring colors. So let's do it. We're in the spring mood. I have a couple colors. Let's just see. I haven't, I don't know exactly what we're doing yet, but I walked by my paints and I saw this TLP watermelon, which is like gorgeous and I never use it. So that has to be one. So, oh, I didn't even open these up. The other day, not the other day for you guys, maybe four videos ago now, I did a live where I was mixing up paints and I mixed up this color. I'll show you the tube in a minute, right? It is Hobine Luminous Rose. Now, <clears throat> you guys will ask me where I get these Hobines. I get them from Jackson's Art. I don't think um, people in some certain places in Europe can get them, unfortunately. Okay, what I do have also is Diorite yellow. Ugh, these lights. It's looking green, but it's nice. Okay. Trust. You know what I love the most? What is so springy to me? Look at these two colors together. Oh, delightful. Okay. We don't know what we're doing yet. Now, I did mix this up the other day. <clears throat> TLP Honeycomb, which is basically a diorite yellow, but in a sparkle form. Mix it up a bit. So, so pretty. Definitely feeling springy. Now I figured, so I have also, so hold on, so far I have two tubes and two piggies. That works nicely. Um, I have two more to discuss, piggies. I have TLP Horizon, which is an orange. I don't know if we wanna go that route. Hold on, let me mix her up so you can see. Oh man, you know what just happened? I just did another video. So my last video. And um, I dropped like a cup on the, the bloom I did. So I'll have to paint over it. Horizon, let's see, does it go? It kind of goes, you know what? It's a little, mm, no, I'm not feeling it. It's not bright enough. Sorry, Horizon. However, let's see if golden peach is a thing. And then we have to like pick two more colors. So what goes with, like I would normally say purple, but that's, Springy. What goes with pink and this is also a little, even though it's my favorite color, it's fine, but it's not knocking my socks off. So let's discuss. We have a very bright purple, a very bright pink and a very bright yellow. Okay. And I'm just looking at my paints now. Um, I guess, are you going to say orange and I'm going to be like, oh, hmm. Here, let me give you a little swatch. And this is just how I decide my colors. I don't usually know what's happening. I'm just swatching these out. This is very bright. <laughs> okay. Um, so we could do a purple. Um, 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 let me just show, let's see what a purple looks like. Let's see, do I have a warm purple mixed up? That's the other thing. So something that's very warm Hmm, what do you think this is? Let's see. That would actually go, whatever this is. This, I believe, is a Hobine violet color. Mm, or did I make this color? It looks like I might've made it, hold on. I never can tell. Sometimes they sit for a long time. That's really pretty. It might be a little, here, I'll show you. It might be a little too dusty for these bright colors, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? It's okay, but it's a little like smoky, dusty, muted. That's my vote. Anyways, I wish I was live again so you guys could tell me. Okay, I probably should have like organized this before going, I mean recording, but this is part of the fun, isn't it? Okay, this is a, oh, I know, maybe you remember when I did the unboxing a while back, I got this metallic color and some of you liked it, and I was kind of like, not crazy about it, but you know what? 
It doesn't not go. Let's see. You're gonna ask me what it is. I put it away. Uh, hold on. Oh no, don't trip everywhere. Hold on. That is springy. Should I do it? Okay, fine. I could. Might make you guys happy. All right, so that's a maybe. We're getting somewhere. I want to stay away, I think, from like the greens and blues, you know? Um, so one last thing to check, which I don't think will work, is like a magenta, which I would normally do, but I don't want to make it too dark. So maybe that's what I'll do. So we'll do that and I'll do white cell activator. I'll do the purple. Right? And it'll be like, and maybe I'll do some green leaves on the side. I have this whole, we'll see. Okay, let's do it. Second problem. <sighs> My pillow paint. It's, so it's been sitting out a while. I, I keep it covered. It could be okay. We'll see. Third problem is the paint, the canvas that I'm using is, has black paint on it because my last bloom I used black pillow paint. Lots of problems, lots of solutions. Okay, let us do it. Do you see what I mean? Whatever. So, let's get our, and the reason I'm using white is because it's gonna keep, first of all, you can't put yellow on top of black. You'll get a greenish color. So if you only have black, by the way, put a white down under your yellow if you wanted to do that. I'm just pouring slow to see, make sure no bloops come out. Okay, that should be enough. And I'm gonna put a lot of color down so it's very, really vibrant. But also, do I want to do green leaf? Oh, I didn't even think about how I'm layering. Okay, layering for fun. I'm just gonna go, I don't know, I don't really need the diorite and the honeycomb, but why not, right? Make it really like super pop. If I had a bigger one, I would, a bigger canvas, I would do green leaves too, but let's play with this first. Let's see what happens. So if you can't get this color, by the way, TLP has like three neons that are just like this. Okay. And I guess I'm topping it with the purple. Now I don't usually put cell activator over a um, pearl or piggy, but Oh, you know what? I don't have to. You know what I could do? Well, they'll make it very light. So what I could do is I have this um, old Holland light yellow. But then it'll be very... I'll just put a little bit because I'm using white cell activator. Which I suppose I don't have to. Maybe we'll do one white and one dark and see, right? I was blowing pretty gently for some reason. Because I didn't know how the purple was going to react. Kind of boring. I don't honestly like the purple. I think it kind of mutes out these colors. So I'm saying no to the purple. <clears throat> the the yellow and magenta are so vibrant that I don't want to do anything, you know? So maybe I will go dark. I mean, I'll spin it out for you guys and show you, but I'm not a big, huge fan of it. So we'll discuss what we are doing. A little buble there. 
Okay, so what's gonna go on top? What is spring? See what I mean? There's some like cool areas, but okay. So maybe I will have to go with a magenta is not bad actually. I want to be a hater on the magenta. It's not bad. It's just not super popping. You know what I mean? You can see my spinner's not even. So this is actually uh, Australia. The one I'm going to use next is Matisse Australian Red Violet. See, it's just like whatevs. I don't even know if you can see like the brightness. So, um, some cool. I mean horrible it's just like kind of boring i'll keep spinning i'll bring it to the light but i am going to paint over her so don't be sad let me know if you think that's the right opinion you know why at a certain point i have so many mediocre blooms i have to say to myself is would i put this in my house would i put this in my you know mm, it is kind of cool because <laughs> it is looking very like a watercolory at the edges you know, like sometimes I really, I mean, it just makes it, see, it makes it look like I didn't put enough paint down. And it, that also, see how it's like faded? I hate faded paints. And so it's looking half faded but half watercolor. And I'm wondering if it's just cause my pillow paint, you know, although like the middle, oh, so many decisions, whatever. Okay. You know what? I'm going to, no, I wouldn't buy this. Would you, I'll show you close up anyways. I think I am going to paint over her, um, and do better. Okay. Be right back. Okay, there is something cute about her, but she's leaving us for a better life somewhere. Okay, so I've decided I am gonna add that Australian red violet. And I know I have a warm purple as well. Like, what? Do, mm, no. Purples, no. Don't make me do it. Okay. Uh, let's see if I'm making the right decision here. I'm gonna put more paint, um, I mean more colors, and I'm gonna, and again, because my pillow paint is so, who knows what, it could be, just, we'll see if it makes my colors bad. Okay. I'm gonna put a truckload of color. Oh, that could have been a bloop. But we don't know. Okay. Truckload. Here we go. Now, also, you want to make sure your paints are not too thick. Because your... Uh, they will fade as well. Lots of troubleshooting, I will tell you. Okay, better. Here we go. And I'm putting a <clears throat> excuse me, wow, we're putting lots. <clears throat> These are my boys here. Okay. Spring flower energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I love more than this yellow and bright pink together. I think it just like super pops. Oh, you know what I could use? Why don't I use a little, <clears throat> don't lose your voice. 
Um, interference, I believe. This is sequin. Uh, oh, no. This looks like to me... Mm, good question. It could be sequins. could be... Um, this is TLP, by the way. Um, twinkle. I mean, you never know. Whatever it is, it's going to be nice. Okay. And then just like a little because it could be very overwhelming. All right. That looks nice to me this way. We'll see if I can actually blow properly. Okay. That was Twinkle, by the way. I see the violet <clears throat> much better. Thank you very much, right? Yeah, it's giving a very nice richness. I'm much happier with it. There's some depth, you know. I hope you agree with my decision, eh? right? All right, Let's start spinning, see where she's going here. What else can I do with this? Oh, there's cool cells. Um, there, I believe this is called a cute spring flower. Thank you very much, right? Some green would look really cute, wouldn't it? So let's discuss. All right. I would have to go bigger, of course. I'm really glad I added that twinkle. There's like a cool, so twinkle, I need to do my spinner probably. Twinkle, oh, here you go. Twinkle is a violet and like blue interference so it's like a hint of a cool color okay i'm definitely gonna fix this so should i do another one for you guys with some green that's really pretty so i would do the exact same thing and maybe just make some leaves but then i'd have to go bigger so we'll do it okay you win <laughs> So let me just go like this because, you know. All right, I'm gonna just get that white little piece off. Then I'll do a close up. And then, or do I even need the white off? No, this is cute. Okay, let's see how our, Ooh. yeah, I'm gonna spin a touch more because we're still moving, but very vibrant, very nice. Okay, there you go, be right back. Okay, so I have a new cup. So this has been, again, sitting for a while, but I haven't opened it. So the problem is it separated and I didn't think I was gonna be using it. So there will be air bubbles cause I had to really mix it up. So that's something. So I'm gonna pour slowly. This is a 14 incher. I'm gonna pour slowly and like maybe let it sit for a minute. The air bubble and then, you know what? Like it might not be thick enough for me. It looks pretty watery. So we might be slipping and sliding, you know? See, it's like, mm, I don't know if I like it, guys. You know what? Yeah, I don't wanna risk it because it's just gonna waste paint. It's not thick enough for me. Um, so what I'm gonna 
do, okay, new idea. I'm actually gonna use, I'm gonna do what I said originally, which is <clears throat> I'm gonna use like a, a color to go pillow. Maybe I'll use like a green or even a purple. And I'll just put a little bit of white um, on top of it underneath the colors. So they're vibrant. And then, but then my idea of the leaves so then, it'll, yeah, okay, we'll do purple. Um, hmm. Do I just want to go purple around? The problem is it's mixing consistencies, meaning the color to go is a nice consistency. It's a little thicker, so it's not going to, like, spin off nicely. You know what I mean? It's art. Um, I'm just going to pour over it. That's my executive decision. Oh, that was a bloop. Hold on. Sometimes you got to do that because especially I'm doing a big piece and you want, if you have a feeling like something is not going to work, you've got to, I see it. Hold on. You've got to make adjustments. Like I might've given it a try if it was smaller, but we don't want to waste, do we? I'm just gonna go like this. And then put more. For the spring palette. Every layer is so important, you know? Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more in the middle, but that should be good. So. Here we go. Did another bloop go and I didn't look at it. That's a lot. Yeah, I think we're good. Don't worry about all that ugly stuff. It will come off. See how it's reacting with those cells? <clears throat> that means it's quite thin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this out for another day or two um you know because we don't want to mess with that okay uh in that case i'm not even going to put it down first i do have a titanium white just so happens that i mixed in my pouring medium i'm going to use that instead that's good to know though so you see, it's like repelling so when you see that it means something is too thin so i'm going to start with this i might have to abort the green i don't know okay so there's my little bit of titanium white. Now, we'll see what happens once I load this. This might have been a disaster. Who knows? So we have, oh, I did this first. So because I did that, why don't I just, I don't really need the diorite yellow. Mm, I'll put a little bit just underneath the watermelon here. I'm gonna move these out of the way. Actually, I have an idea for the green. We'll see if it works. Okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is after I do this, I am gonna put some green around the edges, but I am just gonna blow out normally. And if there's green left over that I didn't blow, I don't this either. And that I didn't blow over, I'm gonna like do something with them. Okay, so that's technically my bloom. Okay. Now, um, let me move these paints out of the way because the spinning is going to have paint flying everywhere. So the greens I could use up. Oh, so if you've been around an old video I did, but from the unboxing actually, I got this color called Atrament Black. No, just called Atrament. And it's from Old Holland. And what we discovered is, um, it's, it's very similar to Shadow Green from Hobine, which I like. But what I did with the Atrament was I added Triart, um, iridescent medium to it, and I made it this really beautiful green color. 
if you followed all that. Tri Art Iridescent Medium, you can get, I think by this time, Fluid Art Company should have it. And it makes a really beautiful pearl. So why not do that? Like, I don't know. All right, we don't know what we're doing. Um, just putting away these yellows and then should I use, maybe I'll use a double cell activator. I guess we could, right? What do you think? White's well, nice, but it laces up a lot. So maybe we want some popping cells. Okay, let's see. Um, 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 should I do double? Mm. Or should I just go for it with one? Uh, I'll do double. <laughs> I chickened out. So I don't want it too dark. Here we go. I blow so hard the green disappeared, kind of. Pretty colors though. You can see the orange coming through from the pink. And yellow but I did blow down maybe too hard there's some really cool areas but I don't love the middle it's this is like super cool super cool super cool looks like fire right here I love um, I wish it all looked super cool like fire hmm the middle is not impressing me. And I'm wondering if it's because I put that white down first. And then, although, oh, that's just, I love this right here. There's really cool cells. Should I spin it out? So we do have a bit of green popping through here, but nothing crazy, but maybe it'll just be the background. I love the look of this when I blow out. Um, I will do one here. It just looks like so cool. The colors are very vibrant right here. Okay, fine. I'll, like, I'll spit it out, but something about the middle is boring me, but maybe I'll change my mind, right? Okay, let's start spinning. Oh, I love that. I do. So is it definitely a winner color combination? Um, it, it does look like fire. Do I see a bloop though? Hold on. Hold your horses here. Um, where did you go? Oh, is it here? What do we got here? Oh yeah, it's a big bloop, okay. Oh yeah. All right, we're still okay. I love the edges and I wanna recreate it somehow. Okay, I'm gonna give it a good spin, so it you know, Whoa. okay. Another good spin. Oh. 
This is definitely a cool one. Um, let's, oops. Let, I'm gonna spin it one more time. Right? Does look like a hot fire. Yep, I like her. I do. Definitely want to play with this color combo more, but uh, you know, she's fire. So thanks for joining me. Let, let me know what you think. Did you like the first bloom? Do you like this bigger bloom situation? Like the video, subscribe if you haven't. I super love you guys. Bye.